Hi, I'm Joe from the Music Emporium, and today I'm going to talk to you about changing strings on your guitar. A lot of customers ask, hey, could you make a video of you changing the strings on my guitar? Well, this is the video. Today we're going to start with the Martin OM28. I've already preloaded the strings into the bridge, so we're going to focus on the headstock. First thing you want to do is feed the string up to the headstock through the nut. Now the most asked question is, how long do I make the string? Well, it's easy. What I do is I measure one post up from the post I'm about to wind. So I'm going to wind the E post, so I'll measure to the A post, and I'll make a bend. From there, I'll feed the string through the E post, up to the bend, and then I'll make another bend. Now the string is locked into that post. Now all I have to do is wind. So I put a little tension on the string and I just start winding the string down the post. And just wind and wind and wind until it's tight. And now you have the correct amount of windings on the post. Snip off the end, string two, and you're done. That's it. Fast, easy. When you get to the top of the headstock, you think, well, I'm out of post to measure. So what I do is I go to the end of the headstock. It's about a post's distance. I make the bend, feed it through the post, make another bend, wind the string down the post. It's also important to note that the strings are traveling down the inside of the headstock and not around the outside. Through another bend, wind it down the post, clip it off, and from here you can just tune your guitar and you have a clean headstock, no knots, no poking your finger. No untying, no tying, that's very important. And that's it. From here, we'll move on to the dreaded slot head. This is actually easier than it looks. Feed the string through the nut slot up to the headstock. And again, what's the measurement? Well, I go one post and a little bit past the post I'm going to string, make a bend. And I'm going to feed it through the post. It helps if you line up your holes in the posts to a bit of an angle, so when you feed the string through, it will sort of catch itself. When the string goes through, you make another bend, just like we did with the paddle head stock. And now it's locked in place. clip off the extra string so while you're winding it's not scratching the headstock. For this last string, I'll do the same measurement. Make the bend one post past. Make the bend again. And there we go. From here, you can just tune up your guitar and you're done. I hope this helps when it's time to restring your guitar. And uh, you can do this at yourself at home, quick and easy. And remember, no knots.